Hey, Quan Squad, this is your girl, Shaquanna, coming to you loud, live in the color. Hey, my people. Hey, my people. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Y'all don't get to see me from this angle a lot lately. Um, I be doing my videos from, from my bedroom. So, I decided to go on ahead and do this video from my dining area, kitchen, slash, you know. But anyway, welcome to my new i mean welcome back to my channel y'all thank you for liking commenting subscribing give me thumbs up thumbs down thank you for sharing my videos thank you for telling people about my channel welcome to my new subscribers thank you for subscribing to the channel thank you for liking commenting give me thumbs up thumbs down for sharing my videos i appreciate you to the ones that have not decided to subscribe yet take your time i understand you got to decide if you want to commit to my channel for the long haul so take your time Anywho, y'all, y'all know that every night at 11.30 Eastern, okay, 10.30 Central, and 8.30 Pacific Center Time, I enjoy going to Kevin Tate's Zodiac Show, and I go there every night. I have not, I, will, I, I have not missed the episode since I got introduced to his channel and his show and like i said i have not missed the episode yet i the show is so addictive it is so much fun a lot of the topics are, are light-hearted okay some of them have gotten kind of deep but that's okay they're still fun um you get to learn something from each and every person that comes on the live or a person that is in the comments, you get to learn something about somebody. You become family, okay? But anyway, last night the topic was about women faking it. Um, and I, when I tell you that topic was so much fun. The topic, the topic is how often do women fake it? And that was the topic from last night. Sorry about the light being, you know. But that was the topic last night about women faking it. So, I want y'all to sit back. I want y'all to relax. I want y'all to watch this video. And it's a two-part because I, I got on there in the beginning. And I got on there in the end. Because in the beginning, I kind of did not feel good. I mean, I still wasn't feeling good. But I got on there in the beginning, then I got on there in the end, and we had fun. We rocked out. You know, we I, I flirted like I always do. Couldn't help myself. Um, He's easy on the eyes. You know, he's easy to love on. Anyway, I want y'all to watch this, and we're going to come back, and we're going to talk, y'all. What's up? Welcome to the Zodiac Show. Hey. Hey, where you be coming up with these topics? It depends on where I'm at, cause they be in my head. You know, I don't pick them till seven thirty. So this ain't That's nothing but the devil. This this topic is the devil. Joshua Warrior, what's up? <laughs> Let's go Australia in the building. Um, so I ask a question. You know, I can't speak for nobody but myself. I've never faked it. Well. So what is, are, are you, when you say you never think it, are you saying that every time you came? It wasn't fake. Oh, so every time you came, you weren't fake, or you weren't saying shit? I really? mean, every time I orgasmed, it was never fake. Yeah, I, you don't play them games? No. What you faking well, for? But if what he's you, not good, tell him he's not good. Tell him what he's doing wrong. So you won't have to fake it. But is it a real thing? Women do fake it. Really? Now, Miss Meg say you don't want a man to feel bad in the bedroom. Now, let me tell you something. Don't don't help a man thinking he's doing good when he's really not. You, it's a, there is a way for you to tell him what you want, how you want it, without hurting his feelings. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Like you know what? You need to grow four more inches. No, 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 no. no. He, he's gonna have whatever he's got. He can't give you no more than what he got. I'm sorry. He <laughs> if he's got five inches, he's, he can't give you nine. Sorry. 
Mm -hmm. And if he's got 12, he can't give you six. Now, when is you giving him this conversation? Is it during sex, after sex, the morning after sex? Why y'all doing some regular shit? After. So, soon the sex over, what you gonna say? Cause he gonna lay there like, whew. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to tell him. You, you know, you need to do better when you do this. Do better when you do that. So, I guess my question becomes: You say you don't fake it, but okay, so. Every time you have sex, you come. I, I that was mean, a tough I, question I, on the live. That was a tough question on the go live. If you don't want to answer that, you ain't got to answer. That's a tough question a guy, on the go live. I've never had a guy that was bad. Really? Never had a guy that was bad. Oh, listen. Good for you, I, I guess. Never had a guy that was bad. Now, I've had a guy that had an off night. He may have been tired, but he but wasn't off bad. night. See, you know, I get yeah. nosy and shit. So Queen, I mean, what is an off? What do you mean? What is an off night? What was his off night? I mean, he may have been slower than usual or faster than usual. Had to tell him either speed up or slow down. He may have just been tired or just wanted to get it over with. But oh he, my god, he had off night. Hey, Reese, cut. What's up? It sounds like fellas, they not cutting no slack. They not lying. They telling you right now, hey, get get better. Right after sex, fellas can't even before we even get the rag. And who should get the rag any motherfucking way? If you if you know you ain't did shit, you go get the rag, start the bath, or do all that. Be now, right. If, if you did it right, she can't get up no way. Mm-hmm. She supposed saying. to be. She might well talk, outline her and talk. She should be right <laughs> there where she stands. May as well. <laughs> I'm just saying, if a booty in the air and she's snoring, you did it right. Yeah. <laughs> face did. down. Face down, ass up. You see? Twan Fisher, what up? <laughs> I'm just Yo, saying. Miss Meg said she ain't going to stay around that long. She said, how do you tell somebody they suck? Hey, listen. With six feet of distance. Like, <laughs> hey, you know. <laughs> like, listen, uh. But you know what, though? Somebody said men can fake it, too. Skin so smooth, what's up? They say men can fake it, too. How? Now, I'm not faking it. Now, I'm not faking the first one, but I'm faking the third one. The third one, I'm faking that one. I'm like, ugh. You good? The third one, I'm faking that one. Ain't nothing come out of there but a flag that said, bang. When shit left in that motherfucker. The third one? Ain't no man got a third one. Yeah, well, now, hold on now. What well, you mean? Well. I told y'all the story about the girl that got me in Chicago for like <laughs> four. I had to lie to her. Because <laughs> she wanted to check. She wanted to check the condom, too. I'm like, God damn. She wanted to see. That was too much, though. Some, yeah. I consider this. Some men don't have a third round. A second one, yeah, but the third one, uh-uh. Yeah, you got to press for that one. And at that time, we done been up for three and a half hours in here. Where the food at? God damn it. Okay. It's time to eat. After two, it's time to get a sandwich. We not about to just. Mm -mm. You got a raw dick. She, she, man, look, uh-uh. Mm -mm. After I, that. I won't even let you try to go a third round. I'm like, get off me. Go get nah. something. Get off me. Get off me. You doing too much now. Yeah, you can, be Ronzi tomorrow. Some eat later. Bullshit. Bullshit. I my bad. After, after we done fucked two times and I can't get a tuna fish sandwich, I can't get a tuna fish sandwich on wheat cut in half. Come on now. If you trying to go a third round, you done cook some Viagra. I don't need Viagra yet. I'm just saying, if if you try to go a third round, you done took something. And you gonna have to tell me what the hell you took. Yeah, I took the wrong bitch home. Because we should have been bed. We should have been in the bed. Because if you took a Viagra, I'm running. I'm sorry. I took a Viagra and an ecstasy. I'm chasing your ass around this motherfucker all night. I done popped a Viagra and an ecstasy. Kevin, Fake. let me tell you something. It's gonna be a miracle that night. I'm gonna start walking. Cause I'm gone. Yeah. Uh uh, you gonna have to catch me. Okay, B Ronzi, I hear you. They gonna have to catch you. Now listen. You gonna have see, to catch me. See now you being funny. Talking about I gotta catch you now. 
You gonna have to catch me talking about a damn ecstasy and the Viagra. You gonna have to catch my black ass. I'm sorry. I'm lit. I you got an and Viagra. Me. And I took it down with some Hennessy and I'm hitting a joint too. Yeah. Oh, I ain't so, coming. I, I hear. Yeah. Well, then I'm coming over there. <laughs> my right there. Locked. You know what time it is. I'm gonna be knocking on it with my. <laughs> girl, I'll be all at the I'll be all at the side window and shit. Like, girl, I know you in there. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm telling you. Dying. Lord help me. What's up, Chef? For real, no, I need to know. I'm fooling with you and you you done took all that. No. I ain't, no. gonna tell you. I ain't gonna tell you. Cause you the last time I came around here and we toyed around, you went and told your sister and shit. And your sister's all laughing at me at the motherfucking picnic and shit because you thought I was on some bullshit. But now I'm geeked up. Now I'm geeked up. Tell them that. Girl, the nigga took something the other day. The motherfucker must have took some the motherfucker must have took some lick or something. The nigga <laughs> got me out in the tub. I'm talking about, oh my goodness. I'm trying to tell you. I'm Boy, well, now you tend to call my phone like that. What's Ooh, up, honey? Come around here with, with gray sweatpants on. Move. Mm -mm, I'm acting. Move. I'm a dick watcher. Sorry. <laughs> Is that right? Is that right? I'm going to hell. I'm going to myself. Listen, let me ask you this. Is what? the gray is the gray is the gray sweatpants really an issue? Is that an issue? If you had a man, he got him two fresh gray sweatsuits sitting in there and a white tee. You know what I mean? White. Some brand new, some brand new white socks and some white and some super white shoes. He tell he about to shoot out here right quick. He, he this, can't go outside like that. He just got to go to this little day party. I don't give a shit. You can't go outside like that. No. <laughs> like what? No. You know what I'm talking about? No. No, cause some of y'all go outside with them gray pants on. Don't have on not no draws at all. Hold on, so hold on. I can't shoot. I can't shoot to the day party right quick with the gray, the gray on no, gray with the white. No, no, no. You got to prove you got on underwear. If you got on underwear, then yeah, you can leave. And that, do I thong check when you carry your ass out here? My thong. Check? Yes. You yes. right. You right. You right. You right. Nah. You right. You and right. I don't wear thongs no way. I wear boy shorts. You right. I do. You right, I do. You right. See, see, y'all, uh huh? You, yeah, thank you. you. Make sure. You right, hey, but you right, cause look, tell you right there, I'm checking it. Why you got that on? Like, damn, you wearing that net? Your ass jiggling like a motherfucker in that. <laughs> I'm around the house, hey, though. See, you can't go outside like that. No, mm. I'm gonna be mad. You already know, be Ronzi. I ain't bullshit. Cleona, what's up? I've got me a gray sweat. That's what I want for Christmas, y'all. I want a motherfucking gray sweatsuit. That's what I want for Christmas. I want a gray sweatsuit, top and bottom. And some what white and, and some white undershirt, large. Uh, large. And some white undershirt, gray. I don't I'm not rock No, I don't rock none but my sweats. But you know, I like a pair of nice pair of wholesome sweat. Did you say wholesome? Wholesome sweat. <laughs> Shaquita, I'm glad you popped on and start this thing off. You funny as shit. The Zodiac show, y'all. Huh? You already. Hey, now. Listen, Shaquita, mm. I'm glad you popped in. The Zodiac show, y'all. Let's go. Because, see, y'all ain't going to give a damn. Y'all ain't going to listen to Shaquita. Because <laughs> me and her talk about shit. We don't hide shit. <laughs> I hope she's still woke. I done said what's up. She probably turned the light out and shit. Shaquita, Shaquita. Don't fix it. Don't fix it. <laughs> you just going to hell. You my baby. You know we talk, right? You know we talk. <laughs> you going to hell. But wait, right, a minute. But, <laughs> wait a minute. You going to hell. Wait a minute. But hold on, but hold on baby. Okay. If you okay. come up in here bullshit, if I they're gonna try to say you gonna try to say in the comments, oh, I ain't standing on no porch. Did you say that? Yeah. I'm not sitting on no porch. I agree. Fuck you that. motherfucking right. What I say? <laughs> you not putting me on no porch. I'm going to roll you down. I got a rap. You know, I've been fucking with you now for 16 months. 
I went on and got the ramp. I thought, we, you know, <laughs> you play too much, but I take you down. And that's what I'm going to do. But it's love. You know I you love not, you, baby. You not sitting me on no porch. You not finna roll me down no ramp. I'm going to be in that house with you. I thought you said you ain't enjoy yourself. And I thought you I, said, well, I, I, well, well, keep that same energy no, with the ramp. I ain't say I didn't enjoy myself. If you. If 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 it starts out bad, I can coach you through it. Ooh. <laughs> hey. I'm not going to hell with you tonight. You hear me? <laughs> no. You see, see. See, because I'm glad we able to talk about shit. And see, see it's you problem. Hell. <laughs> no. I got but you know what I gotta do, Shaquina? What? You know what I need to do? I need to treat you better. I, I, yeah. I think I've been thinking about it. I, I, like, I got to do better than what I'm doing. I got to treat you better. And that's where it all starts. And at the yeah. end of the day, it, I, I don't, I, you know what? You're right. It's me. And I'm going to fix it, boo. Because you ain't been nothing but great to me. You my boo <laughs> on here. I'm telling you. You see, she done pent my comment. And shit. Oh, my God. My head hurt. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe I had you on. I had you on the ceiling fan. I fuck around. And drop. I'm, I got to do better, baby. You done, you done dropped me. You done made me bounce. God damn. You, you tried to kill me by taking Viagra. And <laughs> I got to do better than what I'm doing because I'm fucking relationship. I, that's just love. That's love, boo. That's that's just you trying love. to kill me and my if, coochie. If you ain't never been through nothing, then how you gonna talk about life? I'm gonna put you through something. You trying to kill me and my coochie. You ain't right. <laughs> Damn it. It's warm over there, I tell you. That. that don't even make no sense. Well, I had to hop back up in this thing to say hi to you because I don't be speaking on you without you being up in this thing and shit. It's my yeah, evil. <laughs> it's my motherfucking boo right there. That's the Queen of Zodiac show, y'all. Okay, y'all. Y'all saw how much fun I had in the beginning and how much fun I really had towards the end. Um, yeah, them are the type of conversations that we have on this on this live. And we just have a a good time, y'all. We 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 play around, we joke around, we just have fun. And it's easy to have fun. When you come on Kevin Tate's live, he make you feel so comfortable. He make you just make you think, and he love if he love punching holes in your scenarios. He love punching holes in the story to make you see another perspective. Um, and it's and it's a real good night when you can punch a hole in his stories. Or in his scenarios, it's an excellent, excellent night when you can actually do that. And when I tell you, I love it when you can stump him real good. And he get that look on his face when he know you got him. I enjoy it. But I love having fun on his live. I love getting to know other people and interact with other people. And I have made some friends you know, on on the live, I follow some of the people from the live. Some of the people follow me. Um, so yeah, I have a good time, and you know, I just I just get to be free to be me. I don't have to be something or someone I'm not, cause I I, I refuse to come on somebody's live and to pretend. Like I don't, I mean, I mean, I mean to, to to just pretend to be something or somebody I'm not. I'm I'm not gonna do that. I need to be comfortable in whatever atmosphere I'm in, in the in the environment, in the space. I have to be comfortable, and I am comfortable coming on Kevin's live on Instagram, and he has accepted me as a person first and then as a person that's in the wheelchair second we can sit there and we can joke around about me being in the wheelchair we can laugh because i know it don't come from a place of malice 
I know he's not being malicious. He's making me laugh. I'm making him laugh. And we're just having a wonderful time. And he makes it so much fun. I can be on this man's live and I can actually forget that I am in a wheelchair. I get to play. I get to be a little, little, little ticklish little schoolgirl flirting with their high school crush and just have fun. I mean, I get to have fun and laugh and smile. So, I hope that y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, comment down below. Uh, make sure you Give me those big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell twice to be notified. If you're an old subscriber, make sure you know case not on. Share my videos. And like I always say, God only gives you one life, y'all. Please live it. Bye, y'all.